Welcome everyone from nasitech.com.au Today I will show you how to calculate needed battery size is or battery bank size in ampere hour unit. If you like to watch similar video please visit my website nasitech.com.au or my YouTube channel youtube.com slash nasitech.com.au Calculate battery size is for any application you need to perform following step. Step 1. Some useful formula. Step 2. Calculate the total load. Step 3. Find out with the right power inverter battery charger. Step 4. Time requirement to run the system. Step 5. Calculate the ampere hour. Step 6 battery life cycle and discharge consideration step 7 start battery ampere hour rating step 8 determine the battery number this is the final step however today i will show you at step 9 in electrical drawing uh, we eat the summary all of uh, step 1 to 8 Step 1. Some useful information on to determine the battery bank size is you will require few useful information uh, formula. Uh, first formula e uh, is power equal to voltage multiplied by current. For example, if you have a voltage 230 uh, volt and current rating is 5 m or 5000 milliamp the power for this electrical device will be 230 volt multiplied by 5 amp will provide 1.15 kilowatt amp second formula current equal to power divided by voltage if your voltage rating is 110 volt and power rating 550 watt and your current will be 500 at uh, 550 watt divided by 110 third formula is input power for any device equal to output power of the device divided by the efficiency of this device for example if some uh, device is output um, power is 80 watt and efficiency 80 percent then input power for that device will be 8 uh, 80 watt divided by 0.8 will provide you 100 kilowatt step 2 to find out the total load, you need to find out what kind of electrical equipment you like to run from this battery bar. This can be determined by looking at the input uh, electrical template for each appliance or pieces of equipment adding up the total requirement. I have took few, uh, few pictures. Uh, some of my electrical device is power rating information for example one energy saving light bulb is 20 watt according to the picture so second device i gonna use for this project is one cordless phone power rating however the power rating is may showing the input uh, rating for this device is in volt and amp not showing into watt so we have to use you have to find out what the watt rating for device using this formula p equals to vi in this device the voltage rating is 100 uh, to 240 volt AC and 150 milliamp. So using the formula, uh, the power rating for this device is 34.5. Similarly, for uh, third device for computer, the power rating is 230 watt. Fourth device, external hard drive, if it also provides 230 watt. 
for one printer it also provide a 230 watt combine all of four uh, equipment load it provide a 748.5 watt uh, approximately 750 watt step 3 find out the right power inverter and battery charger according to our previous calculation we will require 750 watt output from our power inverter most of the electrical device have a power loss let's consider our power inverter have 85 percent or 0.85 efficiency so output requirement 750 efficiency 0.85 percent or 0.8 percent using this formula power input equals to equal to power output divided by efficiency so 750 watt divided by 0.85 we will find in 885 watt input requirement for this power inverter so input is 850 efficiency 85 percent will find the output 750 step 4 time requirement to run this system to determine the bank battery bank size we have to determine how long do you want to run this system let consider we are going to run our system continuous 3 hours. Step 5. Calculate the amp hour. Before ca uh, calculate the amp hour, we need to find our amp or current rating from our load. We know the formula I equals to P divided by V. Our case is pa uh, power is eight uh, require 850 watt. Um, so from using the equation, we can find the, our the current calculation. However, there is a different type of battery uh, voltage. Uh, let's consider we're gonna use 12 volt DC. Uh, battery then our current will be uh, approximately uh, seven, um, 74 amp if we are using 200 uh, um, not 200 uh, 24 volt dc battery uh, then approximately our current will be 7 37 amp approximately using these two car and we can find our amp power rating so the the equation for the amp power amp power equals to car end in amp multiplied by time in hour so we got our our car end for 12 and 74 and 24 volt we got a 37 amp so using this equation we can find our the amp power for 12 volt 888 amp power and same also for 888 amp for 24 volt dc battery step six battery uh, life cycle and discharge consideration to improve the battery lifetime it is recommended that battery should not be discharged completely to maximum allowable discharge depend on the type of battery are used such as alkyne carbon uh, zinc or zinc air lead air battery also some battery cannot discharge in fast discharge rate in the main reason of this battery is and uh, discharge racing is lower than 100 percent because of their chemical property let's consider um, the battery we're gonna use which will allow maximum 50 percent and uh, discharge according to manufacturer recommendation on so our case the maximum discharge racing is 50 percent our um, require our amp power 880 amp so if we divide Divided by uh, our load by our our maximum discharge rating, it will provide us 
uh, our uh, final uh, our amp rating 1760 step 7 standard battery amp hour rating most of the manufacturer provide in battery e rating in amp power at constant current rating let's consider automation uh, car battery rating is 70 amp power at current of 3.5 amp this mean this battery will provide 3.5 amp current for 20 hour because 70 amp power divided by 3 pi m equals to 20 hour step a determine the number of battery required for this system let's consider we have a two app option one for 24 volt dc battery whose rating is 100 100 amp hour battery at 5 amp car and and for 12 volt dc 50 amp power battery at 5 amp current from our previous calculation mm. we find our uh, require our load is 1760 amp power to determine in the required battery number r if we divided our r require our um, amp power by battery ampere we will find in our, our battery number for 24 volt dc it approximately uh, read 18 battery e. if we are divided our uh, require amp power by battery amp power similarly for 12 volt dc approximately it need 36 battery e finally uh, we determine that 18 of 24 volt dc battery or 36 of 12 volt dc battery required to run 750 watt uh, load or uh, 0.75 kilowatt load at 3 hour constantly Step 9. I will summarize the whole procedure using a one electrical drawing. At our system, we decided we will use four, five devices. Device 1, energy saving light, with rating is 24 watt. Uh, device 2, uh, cordless phone, 34.5 watt. And device 3, computer, 230 watt similarly device 4 and 5 step 1 when we add all our load approximately we will get our load 750 from 750 using step 4 we will find a good input power requirement for inverter every electrical device has a power loss let's consider this inverter have 85 percent efficiency or 0.85 i so get output 750 watt from this inverter we require 885 watt means if you uh, if you multiply your efficiency your output power you will get your input power step 3 circuit current calculation requirement we know i equals to p divided by v if we are using 24 volt back volt dc so voltage is 24 volt our p is 885 watt so approximately we will get 74 amp current step 5 Let's consider we're gonna run our system three hour. So amp hour requirement is current multiplied by time. In this case, we'll getting 888 amp hour. Step five. Every battery E 
uh, we are use manufacturer recommend the maximum discharge rating for this battery let's consider we are using 24 volt dc whose maximum discharge is 50 percent so our ampere requirement for this battery is uh, our calculated amp power multiplied by the maximum discharge rating for amps hour for this battery is provided 1760 amp power step 6 let's consider we're gonna use 100 amp power at 5 m 24 volt dc battery so requirement uh, battery number for 24 volt is 1760 amp power divided by battery amp power 100 amp power we approximate get 18 battery if we decided we will not using 24 volt dc battery instead we will use 12 volt dc volt whose rating is 50 amp power at 5 amp we will find the battery number requirement for this case is 36 uh, 6 twin 12 volt dc battery thank you everyone watching my video please do not forget to subscribe my uh, youtube channel nasitech.com.au